All right, so these are all the prints that we printed, and we did quite a few different kinds of prints with different materials. I have to say, guys, I'm pretty impressed with this printer, as it did everything extremely well. And not only that, it seems to outperform printers double its price and have more features, which is quite incredible. So we've seen the first print, we've seen the Benchy, the calibration cube, those turned out really good. So let's check out this little frog, which is printed in PLA, kind of like this matte filament. And you guys can see this thing turned out really, really good. The way the layers go down are really accurate and precise and there's no stringing or anything weird and we're printing at 0.2 layer height 50 millimeters a second and retracting one millimeter at 40 millimeters a second so yeah great settings for this printer looks like and this little frog is hard to print around these paws here which gets a little messy but this printer did an excellent job so yeah very impressed with this one the next print we got here is a squirtle, which is like a turtle slash squirrel. It's kind of like a polygon, and you guys can see how nice all the flat spots look and really even overall and just very clean. And around the fingers here and the eyes, you guys can see how clean that is. Again, very impressive with this printer, and the bottom sticks really well and pops off when you're done. Here we have another PLA print, also turned out excellent. So normally this area here would be really messy kind of, and the helmet around the edges pretty bad but on this one they're pretty much spot on so yeah again very nice layer adhesion and a great result here even for these smaller fine prints and you guys can see these little ridges on his shoes was the only thing holding to the bed which held on perfectly and then popped right off and for our last PLA print is this gear and this is kind of like a test to see if the printer is accurate and prints perfectly round so this is a functional print and these are little gears that are separately printed and it should move let's see all right so I just broke it loose and there it goes so this would be considered excellent because most printers you would have to use the allen wrench here in the middle to break it loose because either too much stringing or they're fused together between the gears but for this print it's practically perfect i mean i'm impressed honestly as you guys can see perfect for prints like this that are functional and so all those were PLA, but I wanted to try something hotter, which I did ABS, which are these wheels here. And I preheated the bed at 100, which was not an issue at all. And then after the first layer, stayed at 90, and the nozzle was at 260. And you guys can see the wheels turned out perfect. So these are for like a drift car. And yeah, printed ABS, you guys can see how clean the layers are. And we had no issues whatsoever with sticking or warping or anything like that. So there is support, and let's see how easy that comes off. And look at that, perfect. So yeah, incredible printing here, even with ABS. I'm pretty blown away with how this printer is just good at everything. Well, speaking of that, we have TPU printed in spiralized mode, which is pretty crazy because TPU is quite soft. And you guys can see the layers look excellent as usual, except for when we get to the top. And there's a reason for that. It's got like a little bit of blobbing and roughness to it. And that's because of the power loss resume in spiralized mode makes the printer pause and we're gonna go a little detail into that when we talk about the spaceship there behind us but this little rocket was printed in TPU and it turned out pretty much perfect and you guys can see that it is TPU you can just fold it up so yeah pretty cool and it bounces right back to its original form and I really love printing TPU because prints are pretty much indestructible after that you really have to you know rip them or have a pretty large force before they break which is good for like printing things that require a lot of handling or movements things like that so but yeah this printer did an excellent job with tpu which comes to the rocket here printed in pla and this is 280 tall and i noticed that the printer can go a little taller but this strain relief here starts to kind of butt against the top so 280 is definitely the max and so this spaceship here is spiralized mode and you guys can see the bottom looks pretty much perfect and look at those walls guys that is incredibly smooth and straight and there are no issues whatsoever with this print it looks incredible so yeah, quite amazing. Now, if we get to the very top, here you guys can see we have the same kind of blobbing we had on that little rocket. What this is, is power recovery mode. When active, doesn't let spiralized mode print very easily because the way power recovery mode works is that it tries to remember each layer the nozzle goes up. So if you lose your power, it can resume from there. But in spiralized mode, it's more like one big layer from top to bottom. So there's a lot of memory required for remembering where the nozzle is. So every time it moves, it has to remember that. And what's cool about this printer is that you can turn that off in the settings while we were printing and also in advanced settings we have a power loss resume toggle here so if we 
turn that off, we can print spiralized mode in perfect printing without any kind of hesitations or pauses like we did up here. So what I did was I turned it on and that's what it started doing and then I turned it off and it finished perfectly as it did the rest of the print there. So yeah, again, this printer has features kind of like the power recovery on and off toggle that most other printers don't, which I really appreciate about this thing. And actually guys, I forgot totally about this print. It's also printed in PLA and this is chainmail. And you guys can see it did a perfect job. I printed a small little sample here so you guys can see that it does very well with lots of retractions and quite small tedious kind of prints like this. Again, anything I throw at this thing, it does an excellent job. And also I forgot about another print which is right over here, it kind of was out of my sight underneath the bed there. And this print here is also in PLA, has lots of pieces here that combine together. And the thing about this one is it printed out very nicely except for the filament was very stringy. So this is an older filament that I have that's probably about four years old or so. so I think it's just kind of lost cause at this point point. and the reason I use this filament is because no matter what filament I use for all these other prints they all turned out perfect which some of the filament I had was quite old and I was impressed like on this astronaut here this bronze usually does pretty bad on most printers but on this one it did very well so I pretty much threw the worst filament I had at this printer and this is what turned out yeah it still did great it didn't mess up all the little feet stuck to the build plate so again the PEI sheet works perfect a great print overall if it wasn't for the string because of how old it is. So yeah, I guess what I'm trying to say is the more I use this thing, the more I was impressed with it and the more I wanted it to be my main printer for just about anything. Because it does so well from PLA to ABS, I feel like overall it would do great in pretty much any printing situation. And it really feels like a complete and polished design that was very well thought through. Overall, I really like the look with this nice touches. All the materials are great. We got smooth channels, dual Z-axis motors, tethered with a belt. The filament detector works perfect. The direct drive extruder hot end is very unique designed and seems to work flawless. The printer is quiet overall. The cable management is great. I like how we have adjusters here for the X and Y. A very respectable 225 by 225 by 280 tall printing volume. The flexible PI sheet works perfect. And by the way, our out of bed leveling sensor there has been working perfectly and seems to be just as good as those probes or maybe even better because I got a perfect bead every time on the first layer. The removable touch screen that's tethered on the wire here is very convenient as you can pick it up and look at it and it makes it more easier and funner to use and also this little magnetic tray that it sits in. Now a couple things that could be a negative is there's no tray. You can print out that print that's included to store your tools but I still would have liked to see a tray here. And another thing that I noticed is this SD card slot is a little bit hard to get to and also a little tedious to put it in there as it doesn't align completely perfect with the board. Other than that guys I really really love this printer and I feel like this is a great one especially for beginners out there or even even somebody that just wants a printer that's easy to use and fun. So yeah, I'm giving the big thumbs up for the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro. And if you are interested in this printer, I would highly recommend it. 